18 clubs, one underrated football league. Today we are ranking every single Eredivisie football club's fan bases. As you all know, I'm a lover of Dutch football, so this video just feels so necessary to do. We are ranking from having attended bad, poor, average, insane and incredible. And I'm going to be honest from the start, it is very difficult to pick any of these clubs to go in that bad section. I personally think the Dutch football culture is so underrated and it deserves more recognition from everyone else. I think that's the beauty of this channel. I don't go to the Real Madrid versus Man City's. I don't go to the Barcelona versus Man Manchester United. I love finding out different football clubs and in the Eredivisie and Dutch football full stop you've got so many unique clubs. We are starting off with Ajax and I'm going to be quite honest with you the best European atmosphere I've ever seen is probably Ajax versus Dortmund. Fireworks going off, pyros, they won 4-0, the atmosphere was crazy. Don't get me wrong it would have been so different if I went from Ajax versus Dortmund to Ajax versus Go Ahead Eagles or something. It's very different don't get me wrong but I'm going from my personal experience and for me Ajax I'm going to have to put in incredible. And even the last video on my channel Ajax versus Besiktas, the atmosphere was insane. Yet again, it was another 4-0 victory when I attended. And once Johan Cruyff Arena gets going, it gets going. They were even doing the post and I thought the atmosphere was electric. And there are a few Ajax fans telling me to get a season ticket because every time I go, it's always 4-0. Next up on the list is Almir. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to put Almir City in poor. And it's not because they've got really, really bad fans. I... I, I... In fact, I really enjoyed my time at Almir. I thought it was a really good family-friendly community feel. It was a game versus final, and there was extra stakes to the match. But if I'm comparing against the other clubs, Almir has got to be slightly below some of the others are going to be ranking, let's be honest. And that is no disrespect to Almir whatsoever. I would happily go back. I really enjoyed my time. AZ Alkmaar. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit of a toss-up between insane and average. But for me, I'm going to put insane just about there. It was a game versus Aston Villa, and they got thumped 4-1. But the build-up to this game, a European night, to RZ. I mean, you can't complain. I thought it was a really good atmosphere until the goals started rolling in. But this is one thing about Dutch football. When they go 1-0 down, 2-0 down, 3-0 down, they don't stop singing. They're very passionate. In England, you'd stop singing in that scenario. But not just the RZ. I think Dutch football overall, you just don't stop singing until that full-time whistle is blown. And that's a credit to you all. Right, next up, folks, you see it on the screen. Like, look at this. FC Groningen. I think you guys know where I'm going to be ranking this one. And it's not because I like them. It's not because they're probably one of my favourite Dutch football clubs that I've probably visited, it's the fact that they've actually got genuinely really good incredible away fans, home fans insane, they're just very very passionate full stop. You've got to really go to that club and experience a match day and actually see what it means to the people and that's what I've experienced and it was so special. From going to that quarter final where they won on penalties, I thought that was an incredible night, but then moving on to that promotion day where they won against Roda, oh my word, that was just one of the most special nights in football I think I've ever attended that is arguably one of the best football vlogs you will see on my channel. From being picked side celebrating their promotion for the Tifa the Pirate, I just thought everything was exceptional. But let me repeat again, you've got to really be in that community to really understand what it is to be like a Groninger. I went to M and away and their fans were exceptional too. Home and away, they're just so passionate. And personally for me, when I meet so many of the players, a lot of them actually follow me on Instagram now, shout out to all of them. From speaking to the fans on the match today, the groundsmen, the goalkeeping coach, there's so many of them, staff and coaches and everyone involved in the club have made me feel so welcome. I cannot speak high enough of FC Groningen. Go and watch them if you've got the chance. Next up is FC 20 and I think we all know where we're ranking that. That is going in incredible too. I think you get the idea already. Dutch Wolf fans are underrated. They are so good. If you have not experienced a match day in the Netherlands, I think you've got to go and check it out. The stadium is literally a red version of Celtic Park, but I'm not complaining. It's a really good gap. It was a great match versus AZ when they won 2 1. There was a whole display pre match which I thought looked exceptional, really good from my angle where I was sitting. The fans around me made me feel welcome, and the atmosphere full stop was just rocking for the whole 90 minutes. There's a lot of you guys who want me to return very soon, maybe for a European night. Um, um, if you don't know, I'm actually wearing a Lazio uh, hoodie right now. They've got them in the Europa League and I do aim to go, I'm not going to lie. I have massive respect for that football club. I really enjoy my time. They've got some incredible fans and even away from home too, I think I watched them against Excelsior. The Pyro show, I thought... Pfft. Come on, they are very passionate and deserving of this ranking. I feel like we're doing the bigger clubs first. Do you know what? Let's go to a bad one. And you know what? I will go to a big club. PSV. Uh, from my own experience, it's either poor or bad. I'm going to be honest, from my own experience, it was against Go Ahead Eagles. Don't get me wrong, I did not pick the correct game. If I wanted an atmospheric game, it wasn't the right one to attend. I'm going to put them in poor because it was a really poor atmosphere. They were 3 0 up and still there was no one really chanting. I understand if I went to a PSV versus Ajax, a PSV versus Final, the atmosphere would be 10 times better than Go Ahead Eagles. Don't get me wrong. But there's always time for me to return at some point, so that could be soon. For the reasons I've stated, though, the atmosphere was poor, but the stadium is unbelievable. One of the best stadiums I've ever visited. But if we're going off 
football fan rankings and what I've seen, I'm sorry, PSV is going to be in poor. But if anyone's got a spare ticket for me to watch a PSV game with a better atmosphere, a better game, then let me know on Instagram. Give him a message. Fortuna Sittard, I'm going to put them in average. I thought they actually had some really good fans, if I'm honest. They're not necessarily known for having the best of fan bases, but when I visited, I thought it was actually quite decent. They played some really good football and I'm surprised they did not win. I don't think I saw them win anyway. But I've got nothing bad to say about Fortuna Sittard at all, but I just don't think the atmosphere was brilliant and I don't think it was very, very poor. So where do I put that then? Bang in the middle. I'm going to pronounce this very, very wrong, but ah, Casey Wowick. I've absolutely butchered that. But yet again, another average atmosphere where probably you guys expect me to put either bad or poor. When I attended, I thought they had some really good fans. The stadium is very tight to the pitch, so you really feel on top of it. The game even got suspended for about 15 minutes for fans throwing cups onto the pitch. But even outside, the stadium looks really aesthetically pleasing with the LED lights. I think it's really cool. But I'm going to put them average yet again because they weren't brilliant, they weren't poor, so I'm going to put them average. I'm going to get two out of the way here because I have never attended Nark Breda and Willem Tre. Never attended, never been to them. And coincidentally, they're both rivals to each other. Not just rivals, fierce rivals. They despise each other. When the two teams face, they probably won't be away fans. But it's the two football clubs in the Eredivisie I need to attend to complete it again. And I've heard that they've both got some incredible fans. So maybe I should just go to the derby fixtures. I'm going to get this one out of the way too. Sparta Rotterdam, I think was insane. I really enjoyed my time. I felt very welcome from the ultras of Sparta Rotterdam before they invited me to have a pint or two with them all. Literally all of them. And I think they had a connection from a Belgian club who came over for the game which I thought was very cool to see. It's a castle looking stadium and I got my own tour around the stadium because of the ultras. They invited me in to have a little tour, a little look around when I was setting up their ultra section. I thought it was a really good insight to see and not many ultra sections like YouTubers. So, so for me to get an invite, have a look around and see what it's all about, I respect them massively. They've given me so many stickers too and I collect so many from different clubs by the way. And the atmosphere during the game I thought was really good and I'd return to Sparta Rotterdam in a heartbeat. The stadium is so unique, the castle looking design, you should go there if you've got the opportunity folks. Let's just get fire and all out of the way. Let's put them in incredible because I've been to some European nights there and I've never felt a stadium shake when a team have scored like seeing a goal being celebrated by fire and all. It was just incredible. The ground was shaking. It felt like I was in an earthquake. It was mental. The relentless energy those supporters put onto the field, putting pressure to the opposition. It, it's game changing. It's sometimes match winning too. When you say the 12th man is the fans, that is definitely fire and all. They're going through a bit of a transition now, but that does not take away from their supporter ranking. I thought they were terrific. But the feeling you get when finals score a goal and you're generally just standing there and you're feeling like you're in an earthquake, I can't describe it. You've got to be there to really experience it. But that alone, I think, is a very good explanation as to why I'm ranking them in incredible. Moving on to Peg Zwolle, I'm going to put them in poor. I'm going to be honest, but one of my best friends is... Uh, a Peck Zwolle fan, so he won't appreciate that. I know you guys are screaming at me now, but I'll go to a better game in the future and hopefully it's a better atmosphere. I'm just trying to be honest, folks. Honesty is the best policy. I thought the stadium was really weird. It's got like a Chinese restaurant attached to it where you can eat your food and also watch the match at the same time. It's got a casino connected to it. It's probably got a gym connected to it. It's got so many connected to it. I'm surprised there's not a little connected to it. Now let's move on to FC Utrecht. I'm going to put them in insane because the match I went to was in their kind of ultra section side. It was a disco rave sort of thing pre-match in their concourse bit, like a supporters home, I thought it was mental and very unique. And I've just been going on about a best mate from Peg's Wallet. I've also got a really good friend from Utrecht and he gave me the best Utrecht experience I could possibly ask for. But there's always room for improvement to get Utrecht into that incredible and I will return to Utrecht. Go ahead Eagles, I'm gonna put them in insane too. Not quite incredible, but I think also there's always room for improvement guys. And that was their derby day versus Peg's Waller. And I think if there was a Wave fans then it would have spiced it up even more. I like the display at Go Ahead Eagles. I got a ticket very last minute, but thanks to the club they contacted me. So I'm very thankful towards them. I love the old school factor of the stadium too. It's a proper English stadium being amongst so many houses. Houses. The banner was incredible. I was in the media section, so maybe if I was in with the fans, it would have been a better fan experience. But I will happily return again because I think the stadium alone is worth the visit. Heracles. Now, I'm not going to put them average at all. I'm going to put them insane too. I watched a 5 0 win. And can I just say, Heracles don't win 5 0 in any games in the Eredivisie. The fact I was there and saw that was very special. So you can see the difference if I went to like a Heracles versus Almir to a Heracles winning 5 0. You never know what you're going to get, but I was very lucky to get a very good atmospheric game because of the game. When your football club wins 5-0, you're going to get a good atmosphere, aren't you? I thought the stadium is fantastic. The people are fantastic. I felt so welcomed. And I've even been invited by the club to return again soon. So who knows? I might be back. This one's so difficult. Average or insane. It's not quite incredible, but I just, I can't put it poor. I can't put it average. 
I think it's got to go insane, folks. I'm sorry, it's got to be. A full stadium TIFO, part of my series of going to seven football matches in seven countries in seven days. It was an insane experience. They call it a blood pit because it's basically surrounded by a forest and you've just got the stadium slap bang in the middle. The blood pit. The atmosphere, I'll give it to them, was very good and it was insane, to be honest. It was. As you can tell, though, whether it's poor, average, insane or incredible, I've really enjoyed my time at every single one of these Dutch clubs. And moving on to the final club, I'm going to put here in vain. I'm going to put it insane too. Not quite incredible. If I was ranking here in vain from my first visit versus Utrecht, that would probably go to poor or bad, I'm going to be honest. But after going to the Derby of the North, then getting the win, of course, when you win in a Derby fixture, the atmosphere is going to be good. So what I experienced was an insane atmosphere. From the fan march pre-match to the fans inside from winning, I thought it was a really good display, to be honest. They've got very passionate supporters. And let me just put into perspective, when your town has a population of 26,000 and your stadium has 28,000, more stadium capacity than your town's population. I think that deserves respect. Here in vain and insane, and that completes my Dutch Eredivisie football fan ranking. What do you guys think of this ranking? Let me know down in the comment section. The majority of atmospheres is judged upon the 90 minutes on the pitch, how well your club does. So it was all defined by what I've experienced, but let me know if you want me to go to a better club for you to get a better ranking, then give me a message on Instagram and maybe we can sort something out so I can return again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel as we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I will be returning to the Netherlands very, very soon. You know me, I love the culture, so I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.